Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to the video for Lee Shetless Principle where in this video we will apply the Lee Shetless Principle to explain the effect of pressure, addition of inert gas at constant volume and constant pressure as well as catalyst on a system at equilibrium. So, kiranya kali ni kita nak habiskan lah. So, on your notes, it will be on page 17. So, kita dah tengok in terms of concentration dengan temperature. Uh, this video first kita akan tengok in terms of pressure which occur when it changing the volume of container. Okay, untuk case of pressure ni, uh, dia lain sikit, it is very important for you to actually determine the number of mole. Okay, the number of mole ni mesti lah yang gas lah sebab pressure kan. Okay, the number of mole ni, so contohnya kita tengok dekat sini. Uh, how to determine tu, tengok pada stoichiometry lah. Here, yeah, 1 plus 2. So, 1 plus 2 here is actually our 3 moles. Kalau dekat sini, 3, 3 plus 1. So, jadi 4 moles. So, kenapa kita kena determine dengan uh, number of mole? Sebab kita akan ambil that uh, the number of mole tu is directly proportional to our pressure lah. Okay, so kenapa? Okay, so contohnya kita ada kita punya ni eh, container ni lah. Nah, even though it does not see clearly, so beza 3 dengan 4. Sebenarnya, when we have a higher number of mole, so the probability of collision between the molecule itself dengan wall of container tu akan increase lah. And remember, pressure tu kita assume ambil is actually when the molecule tu hit the wall of the container. So, dekat sini, uh, penting untuk kamu, uh, apa ni, for you to understand is that, uh, kalau kita ada higher moles, kita akan ada higher pressure. Okay, kalau kita ada fewer moles, maknanya kita akan ada lower pressure. Okay, so yang inilah yang kamu kena ingat. Uh. So, macam mana nak tahu yang moles ni, depends on uh, our stoichiometry. So, dalam kes ni, kita kena tengok berapa mol lah. Kalau contohnya kita punya concentration tu, tak perlu tengok pun. Uh, make sure awal-awal tu dia jadi seesaw. It's balance one. Nanti kita make sure dia tak balance. Uh, nanti kita akan ada ubah-ubah lah kan. Tapi kalau for the case of um, pressure ni, uh, penting untuk kamu tengok. Make sure it's actually yang mostly mesti yang gas eh. Okay. So, first kita akan tengok. Okay, dia ada increase volume. Decrease volume, pressure dengan pressure. Based upon our Charles law, pressure, volume is inversely proportional to our pressure. So, dekat sini, increase volume, pressure decrease. Decrease volume, pressure increase. Ha, so, sama je lah. Kalau dia kata bagi tahu volume, ha, tukarkan dia kepada in terms of pressure. Kalau ni kita tengok, okay, kalau dia sama juga dengan kes yang temperature kan. Contohnya, kalau kita increase temperature, ha, the reaction tu sebab dia dah balance. Tapi, kita pergi increase temperature. So, apa yang dia akan buat, dia akan make it balance by reduce the temperature itself lah. Dikurangkan. So, dia akan counter back macam tu. So, dalam kes ni, uh, untuk pressure ni, so, bila kita increase the volume ataupun pressure decrease, the system dia akan counter back, uh, dia akan balance balik dengan dia akan increasekan pressure kita. So, tapi kita bila kita nak higher uh, pressure, higher pressure higher pressure tu, mestilah ada higher moles. Haa. Uh. Equilibrium will shift, it will be to the right ataupun left. Tapi yang ini, ah nanti kita tengok kenapa kat sini mesti tulis higher moles dulu. Okay, it will be uh, shift to the higher moles lah. Sebab higher moles ni akan increase kita punya pressure. Tapi kalau kita decrease volume ataupun pressure increase, ah kita kacau dia macam tu. So, it will counter back, uh, it will counter back the, dis the disturbance by reducing the pressure. Kalau nak pressure yang, um, di uh, dia nak pressure berkurang, so, it will shift to the side with uh, with a fewer moles. Increase pressure. So, bila kita, sama juga lah yang ni kan. Bila kita increase pressure kita, uh, kita kacau dengan increase pressure. Uh, sistem ni, dia dia kan balance lifestyle lah. So, dia nak decrease balik pressure tu macam mana. It will shift to the side with a fewer moles. Kalau kita decrease pressure, uh, dia akan counter back dengan increase balik pressure dia sendiri. Okay, so... Kalau nak pressure tinggi, mestilah dekat higher moles. Okay, so maknanya dekat sini, kalau pressure kita kena tengok the number of mole. So, example 1 dengan 2 ni, okay, jom kita tengok sama-sama. Okay, PCL3 ni, uh, reactant side ni, ada PCL3 dengan CL2. Sini jadi 1 mole, 1 mole. So, sini kita tulislah, jadi 2 moles. Yang ini PCL5 jadi 1 mole. Dekat sini, uh, kalau um, moles dia ni 2 moles, okay. Kalau ada higher number of mole, higher lah pressure kita. So, dekat sini mis buatlah pressure increase. Ni yang pressure increase. Sini yang pressure dia decrease. Okay. 
Ha, yang ini bolehlah kalau kamu nak lukis sintem soft yang container ni pun boleh juga. Tapi yang ini sahajalah. It's the same one. Okay, kalau dekat sini kita tengok pula. This one, reactor ni ha, ada satu sahaja H2O tapi dia ada 2 moles kan? Sebab ada 2 kat depan ni, here dia ada 3 moles. Sebab here 2, yang ni 3 ni sebab 2 plus 1 ni lah. So, remember fewer moles ni, fewer pressure. Ataupun lower pressure, higher moles ni, higher pressure. So, sekarang ni, oh, kita tengok soalan. First one, okay. So, when we decrease the pressure, sistem ni, ha, kalau kita decrease, decrease the pressure, uh, dia dah balance kan? Ha, sekarang dia dah kira balance lah. So, when we decrease the pressure, what will happen, dia nak counter back, the reaction will occur in a direction to increase the pressure. So, kalau dia increase the pressure, sebenarnya dia nak higher moles, eh, dia nak fewer moles ke, dia nak higher moles. Tengok, increase pressure, mestilah higher moles, higher moles of gas. So, dalam kes ni, higher moles of gas kita is actually shifting to the uh, left. So, shift to the left. So, when it shift to the left, maksudnya PCL5 ni changing to PCL3 dengan CL2. So, when it changing here, so what will happen, the concentration of PCL5 ni berkurang. Tapi, PCL3 dengan CL2 akan bertambah. So, that's for decrease pressure. Kalau kita increase pressure, the reaction will occur in the direction to reduce. Ha, sebab kita dah, uh, apa ni, reduce ataupun decrease lah the pressure itself. Okay. Sebab dia dah balance, bila dia tambah, in, uh, dia tambah pressure, the system tu dia come to back balik, uh, decrease balik. So, kalau nak decrease pressure, Ha, kita kenalah nak pada fewer moles of gas. Sebab fewer moles of gas, barulah ada, uh, barulah, uh, apa ni, uh, the, the pressure is low. So, fewer moles of gas. So, fewer moles of gas dalam kes ni is shifting to our right. When it is shifting to the right, so what does it mean is that PCL3 dengan CL2 ni bertukar jadi PCL5. So, what happen? PCL3 dengan CL2 ni yang berkurang, PCL5 yang bertambah. That's for example 1. So, let's look example 2. Okay, so yang ini kita dah determine dah number of mole dengan pressure kita kat mana yang high and low. So, increase volume sama juga dengan uh, apa ni? Volume kita. Eh, sorry. It's based on Charles law kan? So, kita punya pressure E decrease. Ni pressure increase. So, here. So, it, when we increase volume ataupun pressure berkurang. So, kenapa dekat sini nak tengok lah. Kalau increase volume, ha, volume dekat sini, ha, kita akan lower pressure kita. Lupa pula tunjukkan ni, eh. lower pressure kita. Tapi kalau decrease volume, kecil lagi, tapi most of gas dia kan sama sahaja kan. Ha, so, dia akan jadi higher pressure lah. Okay, so when we increase the volume ataupun pressure decrease, the reaction will occur in a direction nak counter back balik pressure decrease ni by uh, increase the pressure. So, kalau increase pressure, kita nak yang higher most of gas. Okay, kes ni higher most of gas kita tengok daripada left ke pada right. It's actually on our right. So, it will shift to the right. So, what does it mean here is that kita punya 2H2O ni akan jadi H2 dengan O2. So, H2O ni yang berkurang. H2O2 bertambah. Okay, next. Last one is decrease volume. Maknanya kita increase the pressure. So, what will happen? Kita nak decrease balik pressure kita. Kalau decrease pressure, nak fewer most of gas. So, dalam kes ni, dia shift kepada mana? To fewer moles of gas. It's actually yang ni. So, it, it, it is shifting to our left left hand side kita. So, when it is shifting to the left hand side, so it means that kita punya H2 dengan O2 ni akan form H2O. So, H2 dengan O2 berkurang, H2O bertambah. So, kalau pressure ni dia ada uh, extra sikit sebab kamu kena tengok lah mana moles of gas dia tu Um, higher ataupun lower. So, contohnya kalau kita tengok sini kan, uh, example 1 ni decrease pressure A, eh, yang ni pun sebenarnya pressure decrease tau. Tapi um, satu ni shift to the left, satu ni shift to the right. Okay, why? Sebab kita kena tengok berapa sebenarnya number of mole of gas tu. Kalau in terms of concentration, tak ya. Concentration memang walaupun sini 2 mole, sini 1 mole, tak kisah. Awal-awal tu kita ambil dia sebagai balance sama si so. Tapi pressure ni, kita kena take itu kau macam ni lah. Ha, senang lagi untuk kamu tengok macam ni. Okay, so that is for pressure. Okay, next is actually, ah uh, dia macam sub kepada pressure juga. Next is actually addition of inert gas. Addition of inert gas ni contohnya, uh, group 18 kita lah, helium, argon. Okay, 
Untuk kita punya inert gas, there are two condition. Satu constant pressure, satu constant volume. So, kita tengok dulu untuk constant pressure ni. Okay, so, uh, example yang ini kamu tak perlu, uh, for, again, Lisheta ni tak perlu kira-kira pun. Yang ni, Miss nak tunjuk supaya it's clearer to you lah kalau kita guna number kan. Okay, so first thing first, contoh ni dalam container ni, I have gas A dengan B. Where each of the gas ni is 1 atm. Okay, so my pressure total will be 2 atm lah sebab kita tambahkan dua-dua ni. Okay, but right now what we want is actually addition of inert gas at constant pressure. So, contohnya, uh, the same container, kita add argon. Eh, kenapa sini argon? Sini helium. Ah, sini argon lah eh. So, pada argon ni, uh, kita nak dia, uh, argon ni is actually 1 atm. So, bila dia 1 atm, sekarang ni pressure total kita, maknanya kita kena tambah. It's not only PA dengan PB, tambah dengan uh, pressure of argon. Okay, so contohnya kan, kalau Miss ambil je lah sebab tadi kat sini Miss bagi tahu dia 1 pula. 1 plus 1 kan? 1 plus 1 plus 1. So, nanti pressure total kita is actually 3 atm. But then again, condition kita, um, for this case, addition of inert gas, dia nak constant pressure. Ha, yang constant pressure ni maknanya pressure total kita tu lah kita nak constant. So, macam ni kita nak make sure uh, it is actually a constant pressure. Ha, so, maknanya kita tak boleh lah yang ni. Sebab tengok ni, daripada 2 atm, dia increase jadi 3 atm. So, cannot lah. Okay, so macam ni nak buat ni sebagai 2 atm. Kita nak dia memang 2 atm saja. Okay, what happens is that sebenarnya dekat sini, okay, memanglah sebab kita dah uh, pressure, uh, argon ni kita punya, uh, kita punya tetamu kan. Uh, so, kita kekalkan lah dia sebagai 1 ATM. Okay, what would happen is that sebenarnya pressure A dengan B ni kenalah berkurang. So, contohnya kalau pressure A ni jadi 0.5, uh, pressure B ni pun jadi 0.5 lah. So, nanti 0.5, 0.5, 1. Uh, dapatlah 2 ATM. Um, ataupun kalau kamu nak buat ni jadi 0.3, Sini kan dah jadi 0.7. So, untuk dapat uh, tambahkan 1, dapatlah 2 ATM. So, regardless of, uh, tak kisahlah kamu kena reducekan to what value pun. But what happen is that kamu, memang kita nampak is that the pressure, the pressure of the gas ataupun the partial pressure ni kena berkurang. Okay, so dekat sini contohnya Miss guna 0.5 je lah eh. 0.5 dengan 0.5. So, awalnya kita nampak dia adalah 1. So, dia berkurang jadi 0.5. So, what would happen is that, kalau for the constant pressure, is that the partial pressure of each gas present will decrease. Ha, tak kisahlah dia decrease jadi what value pun, ha, yang pastinya dia tak akan bertambah lah. Ha, so, kalau contohnya ni dari sini, sini jadi sat, uh, from 1 jadi uh, 1.5 kan. Ha, takkan yang ini jadi pressure dia kosong. Ha, takkan yang ini... Uh, berkurang pula uh, Yang ini kita nak kekalkan Okay kat sini The partial pressure of each gas In the system will decrease So bila pressure decrease Kita tak Berbanding kita dekat sini lah uh, kat sini. Bila pressure decrease Kalau boleh kita nak Counter back dengan um, Increase pressure Ataupun higher moles lah uh, Decrease pressure ni Kita nak side to the higher moles Sebab we have Higher pressure Okay so what will happen is that The position Um will shift to the side with higher pressure ataupun higher number of mole. So, again, for the constant pressure ni, effect dia ni as if kita akan, uh, dia punya effect is actually pressure dia ni decrease. Uh, yang itu je kamu ingat. Kalau kita add in it, yes, uh, kita akan, uh, as if kita punya pressure kita akan decrease lah our disturbance tu. And you make sure the constant pressure lah. Contohnya kita tengok example 1. So, kalau gas ni, Miss memang suka tulis dulu. Sini dia adalah 2 moles. So, pressure kurang. Sini 1 mole. Pressure, uh, eh, pressure kurang pula sini. Pressure increase. Addition of inert gas at constant pressure. Uh, maknanya, pressure tu berkurang lah. So, when uh, the pressure decrease, what will happen is that what we want, uh, kita dah kacau the pressure decrease kan. Uh, sistem tu akan counter back dengan increase the pressure. Ha, increase pressure tu kenalah higher moles of gas. Dalam kes ni, higher moles of gas kita di mana? Left hand side ke right hand side? So, actually on our left hand side. So, left hand side ni, so my reaction ni shift macam ni lah. PCL5 ni bertukar jadi PCL3 and CL2. So, PCL5 kurang, CL2 bertambah, PCL3 pun bertambah. So, example tu pula, addition of inert gas at constant pressure. So, at constant pressure, uh, remember, uh, we're going to act as if kita punya pressure uh, berkurang. So, dekat sini sama juga.
So, bila pressure berkurang, kita will react to counter back. Uh, increase the pressure. Increase pressure tu mestilah higher moles of gas. Tapi dalam kes ni, higher moles kita is actually on our right hand side. So, it means that the reaction will shift to this side lah. From here to here. So, if it's from um, our 2H2O, jadi H2 dengan O2. So, maknanya H2O kita ni akan berkurang. Tapi H2 dengan O2 bertambah. Okay, so that's for addition of inert gas. Kalau constant volume, okay, so uh, kalau constant volume, maknanya we do not have this problem dah lah. Tak perlu pun yang nak decrease ni. So, contohnya yang sini, what would happen? So, maknanya dekat sini kita boleh je lah tambah macam biasa. So, sini jadi 1 plus 1 plus 1. So, dapat. So, there's no problem for it. Sebab dia nak constant volume sahaja kan. Ha? Bukan yang nak constant yang pressure of each of the gas tu. So, the total pressure of the equilibrium system increase. Okay, but then, the partial pressure of each of the gases tu sama sahaja. Kat sini, the one. Sini pun dia masih one. Tak ada perubahan apa-apa pun. So, what will happen is that, um, apa ni, the partial pressure in the equilibrium system remain unchanged. So, that's why lah, there is no effect on the equilibrium position. So, untuk constant pressure sahaja, we're going to act as if pressure to decrease. Tapi, constant volume, there is no change. And last but not least is actually our catalyst. So, what is a catalyst? Catalyst is a species that speed up the rate of reaction. Ha, yang ni kamu dah biasa dah kan? By lowering activation energy of reaction. Ha, yang ni definition ni kita belajar nanti sama dua. However, sebenarnya adding catalyst has no effect on the position on uh, position of equilibrium. Tak ada ubah apa-apa. Okay, so that is actually uh, the end of the list tu ya. So, maknanya kita dah belajar ada concentration, temperature, pressure. Pressure volume ni kita ambil yang sama je lah eh. Volume ni inversely proportional to pressure kita. Okay, and then catalyst. But then, uh, remember catalyst has no effect on equilibrium. Uh, only temperature sahaja kita ada change of K. Uh, yang tu kita dah uh, explain kan waktu di sini. Okay, so that's it for this video.